Hi there, this is Shubham Mittal. Welcome to the first video of OpenCV Python tutorial. In this video, we will get started with images. We will load the load an image and display it as well as save it back in the PC. So let's get started. You should have uh, Python OpenCV already installed. If you haven't installed it yet, please follow the link in the description below to know how to install it. And I also suggest to install NumPy and Matplotlib along with that because I'll be using uh, these libraries as well with the OpenCV. So let's go to start menu. You will be able to see ideally Python GUI. Just open it. So this is the python shell just to make sure that you have installed the opencv correctly type import cv2 that is the library of opencv if it throws no error then you should be definite that uh, the opencv library has been installed successfully ok it's done uh, now we will click on file new file and i will save this file in the desktop save as in the desktop is itself I will save it as read write image just in the case of any python program we should import the necessary libraries so we should import cv2 that is we are importing OpenCV library then let's divide our task into three subtypes that we should read the image then display it and then we will write it into another file so first reading the image to read the image we have to use a function cv2 dot im read and then the pass to the file since uh, I, I am having this uh, messy.jpg image in the desktop itself so I will only pass the file name which is just sufficient because it, it will direct to the current folder and the second argument of cv2 cv2.im read is the read mode specifier if you pass 0 then it means that you are able to read the image as a grayscale image if you would pass this as 1 then you are uh, showing that uh, you have to read the image in uh, colored mode or else if you pass the image in minus 1 as the argument as minus 1 then you should be able to read the image as it is also including the alpha channel so we are reading the image as grayscale image so we have done reading the image now we have to display it to display on the screen we need to use cv2 dot im show and then we will pass the name of the window in which the image has to be shown so let's name the window as messy and then pass the image that image is ing in the second argument so this will show up but as soon as the image will appear in the, on the screen it will go off the image will vanish immediately so to keep hold of the image we type k is equal to cvt dot wait key so it will wait for the user to key in something
this cv2 dot weight key waits for the milliseconds which are given in the argument if the argument is zero it will wait forever for the key it will wait indefinitely and uh, k will hold the order of the key pressed by the user and 0x ff uh, the ending is done 0x uh, with 0x ff to keep the last byte only then the decision will be made according to the key pressed if the key pressed is k if k is equal to is equal to 27 that is the order of the escape key then we instruct to close destroy all the windows destroy all windows so this will close all display windows else if k is equal to is equal to odd of s that is if the key s is pressed then we will write this image file into a new image let's name it as macy gray dot png and we will pass the image file image variable in the next argument and then we will close all windows destroy all windows so it's done now we will save this program then click on run run module see the image was a colored one but it is displayed as grayscale now if i press escape then it will the window will close automatically but let's rerun this program so it is in displaying as grayscale if i press s then it will save oops i had written cvd dot destroy or oh, destroy instead of destroy i written destroy so let's edit this then save it then again run it so displaying let's click on s okay see the window displaying messi's image has gone and we are having a new image messi gray.png so we have done our very first program on dealing with the image so this part is the this part is to save the image into new file thank you